Hi y'all, it's Ashley with Mulberry Branch Farm. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've been recording, but uh, we did some dehorning this week with our kids and it can always be kind of a shocking thing for them and it can sometimes affect how they act. So today we've actually got a doling that while she was doing okay, I think it stressed her out a little bit and we've got some things now that we're gonna treat on her. So stick with me through that y'all. So of course it's Hope. Hope has always had a slow start. So with this, she was acting just fine. She was acting healthy and ready to go on the day of dehorning. And I was with my vet. He's always done dehorning for me, but it just seems like it had a bad effect on her. So Hope had a bout of constipation that we had to deal with. Constipation can be um, deadly. I mean, I hate to put it that way, but it can. It can really affect the digestive bell. It can really affect the digestive system of a baby and if they can't pass waste, they won't be hungry. And because they're not hungry and they're not passing waste, that's not good to keep in their system number one. So we're just gonna go ahead and take care of her a little bit today. You can tell she's hungry. She doesn't have enough energy to get up to go to mommy. And I do have electrolytes and some B vitamins to give to her just to kind of help her get her through. Um, we are giving Banamine in case there was something going on where it was too hot. Um, the iron may have been too hot, so the banamine is a painkiller and an anti-inflammatory, and we're giving that to her at night. You can't give it more than once a day. It can be pretty tough on their stomachs, and she's so little and a little dehydrated that I can't really, I feel bad sticking her because I can't hardly get a skin tent because she's dehydrated. So we're just focusing on keeping her fed and hydrated and going from there. I know, you must be hungry. You must be hungry. Are you hungry? You want this? Are you hungry? While we just finished with Hope, I just wanted to assure everybody <laughs> it's actually really hard to film some of this stuff, guys. Um, I, I kind of underestimated when I was homesteading and raising goats outside of a viewer's eye how private some of it can feel sometimes and how sometimes you don't want to share things because it's just it's heart-wrenching and it hurts and it, it weighs down on you and it keeps you up at night and wakes you up early in the morning where you question what's going on or what can you do what did you do wrong what signs did you miss but as much as that's been an issue for me, and, and I'll say it's been a personal barrier here this last week, um, I don't know how many of you out there have gone through the same thing or have just had things happen where they've never happened before, that they presented in a way that it was just not the usual, where it didn't tip you off to what was going on. Now, Hope struggled at birth. She did. She got her first drink when she should have, but she struggled. She had a hard time. You were with me when we found that she finally had gotten onto the udder by herself. That was a huge victory. It was a turning point. And in light of her falling a little bit more ill or behind or just, I don't know, hitting another bend in the road that she needs a, just a helping hand to get her past, <coughs> it's just been really tough. It's It's been something I don't really wanna, it's hard to watch something that small and that helpless and cute guys, let's just say, just that cute. Struggle to the point where it, it just takes everything out of you. But you know, at the end of the day, I've, I talk with my husband a lot about it. The poor guy's ears been chewed all week or he said, you know, you have 15 out there right now. And out of the 15, you wanna talk about the sickly one. But isn't that how it is in our walks, even in life for us? And I don't know how many of you out there have are of the Christian faith, but for me, really, and I don't know how many viewers I might lose over, you know, expressing my faith, but I'm not afraid to express it, that it many times does it reference that he left the 99 for me. And I have 15, and I'm going to have to turn away from the 14 for the 1, just to see if I can get her through. Because there have been many times in my life where that's exactly what happened for me. Someone turned from everybody else and said, I'm going to help you. I'm going to focus on getting you through because you need it.
I think she's testifying, guys. That or she's giving me an amen. <laughs> I don't know. So it's been a couple days since we last worked with Hope. And it's been a couple days since I last worked with Hope. We had talked about how it was hard to record these moments, guys. And um, I excluded those last couple days of treating her because it was too hard. It was too hard for me to witness in real life, in real time. And there are just some things that I want to keep private that are just between myself and my animals. I know some people might think that's stupid. They're animals and you raise them for, well, I won't say a living because I do have a, a full-time job, but they say that maybe I shouldn't be so drawn into my animals or you have to be able to separate yourself. And there, and to a point, yes, you, you do learn to separate yourself to protect yourself emotionally. Not once did I protect myself emotionally with this little kid. Um, she was really special. She started out, I believe she was underdeveloped. Her teeth were half erupted, which makes me think that she was not all the way developed. She didn't have the bump reflex. She didn't have a suckle reflex. She couldn't find the teeth by herself. And she did have good days and she also had bad days. And 100%, I am not blaming this on dehorning because I've seen it done a hundred times. She reacted normally right after, all the way up until about 24 hours after. And it was just like a switch clicked. And you know, I know a lot of people don't agree with dehorning. And I question it a little bit too, but the truth and the matter of the fact is <coughs> if I hadn't dehorned her, I still may have come up with the same exact outcome. So just because I dehorned her and she happened to have a little bit of a letdown afterwards, doesn't mean that it was the dehorning's fault. So, I'm going to try not to get emotional with you guys again. But um, raising animals is emotional. I think it's very fitting that... It's snowing and wet and cold and nasty outside while I'm filming this update for you guys because quite frankly, like moving a kid in that fashion and <coughs> not being able to save them does make you feel cold on the inside. I try not to let it because it is a part of it. And I do feel selfish because there at the end, I do feel like I drug her through it because I couldn't let her go because I couldn't live with the fact that I was making the call on an animal's life. There have been times in the past where I've had to do that. Where we've had come out, had a vet come out and humanely euthanize an animal. Hope didn't go that way. Hope went in my lap with me petting her and knowing that she was loved and knowing that she had been cared for. And, uh, well, that was something that was really hard to go through. I have that peace of mind for myself, too, that I didn't give up on her. As long as she fought, we fought. And yeah, those, that last day, Hope stopped fighting. And it was obvious. It was really, really obvious in the way that um, she carried herself. We did um, a lactate ringer to try to help hydrate her because I felt like that was part of the problem. <coughs> but um ultimately hope wasn't meant to to live and hope passed away and she's buried she's one of the few goats that we've ever buried um she's buried out in our goat field so she can always be with the other goats and uh i'm really sorry that that is the update that we have to bring you for hope i know that the video is titled no hope for hope but there was hope for hope until there was none left so and there was no hope left when she decided enough was enough and just went still so it's not always like this guys uh, I, and believe it or not I have had worse kidding seasons than this <coughs> we've actually had a really good survival rate this year and I'm really happy with all the health, healthy bouncing babies which you guys can see them all over there they're all over here and they're just, they're everywhere. I can't be upset with that outcome. So, I felt like I owed it to you guys to share it with you. I didn't want to share her last moments, but 
I feel like I owed it to you guys to share an update because you were there when we did when she was born. 